in Belgium oh, okay. anymore. Belgium. <laughs> well, the bells are ringing. I don't know what that means, but all the same. <laughs> I'm with the World Cup winner, Katarina Nash. Supposedly a mountain biker, but uh, tell me a little bit about that race last week in Robay for all the folks back in the U.S. <laughs> Well, it was uh, nice and muddy, uh, kind of a couple technical downhills, uh, challenging course, uh, all the things that, um, you know, that's when the mountain bikers come in and <laughs> do well. Were, uh, were you very familiar with those girls that you were racing at, Hanka Kupfernagel and Marianne Voss? Do you know their tactics and, and what they're like out on the course, or was that one of the, the first close-up looks you had? Well, you know, I've done only a couple of World Cups uh, over the last two years, over the last two seasons, so, um, you know, I, I read about them, I heard about them, but <laughs> this was more so the first time I rode with Marion Vos, and um, I've ridden with Hanka last year a couple times, uh, briefly, um, so, you know. You know, you know, I've always said when it comes to a one-lap throwdown, you're, you're my pick, but, uh, uh, you know, Hanka is former time trial champion uh, on the road, and She's no slouch in one, one lap to go. Was that last lap uh, a little bit scary? You knew she was behind you? Um, you know, it's like it would probably be different if we were sprinting on the pavement. I wouldn't want to be with either one of those girls. But uh, this is, you know, it's pretty technical. It's uh, definitely it had the element of uh, choosing your right line and kind of going for it. And I um, was riding pretty well one section, and I just made sure that I was ahead of Hanka going into that section and then got a little gap, and then, you know, it was just very little left in the race, and uh, so, it, it, you know, it was awesome. It worked out well. <laughs> so, you know, this has been, a, uh, I would say, a super year for you on the cross bike, at least. You know, you did the domestic scene. I, I got to ask you now, which are you having more fun on, the cross bike or, or the mountain bike? Now that you've done a whole cross uh, you season. You know, when it comes to racing, I think cross has been, it's been great because it's uh, it's a little bit more dynamic than mountain biking, you know, meaning that uh, you stay with people, there's just constantly things going on. Sometimes sometimes mountain bike races, you can get pretty lonely, you know, you don't see anybody. And yeah, <laughs> for two and a half hours. But, you know, like, <laughs> if I'm standing in my garage heading out for a bike ride, I mean, it's, it's probably most likely always going to be a mountain bike. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me how many years... Is this your fourth year on a cross bike? I've lost track a little bit. Yeah, I think so. But it's not it's not been right. your whole life for sure. It's I mean it's something that was new a few years ago. You know, ago. I mean yeah, I mean I'm not new to cro cross racing anymore obviously, yeah. but you know, I feel like um, you know, it's still cycling. It's still about pedaling your bike and uh, definitely had to pick up a little bit of uh, technique with the dismount remounts, but once you get that down, you know, it's it's, it, I feel like it's very close to mountain biking and other cycling sports. So, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't think you have to be so specifically focused one or the other, but you have to, you know, you can't fit it all in one year. You have to kind of make, uh, yeah. pick your battles, which, which I had to do this year in order to be fast this time of year. So we're standing here in the rain in Hooger Heidi, uh, you know, <laughs> at, at the moment the course is pretty dry, but it could change. Um, by tomorrow, would you rather have it wet and muddy or, or fast and dry? Yeah, I think uh, I think the rain's okay with me. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think if it slows down a little bit, I think uh, you know, make it a little harder. Um, that's that's just so. Fine. Last tune up before worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last race so you're going for the win. Oh, uh, I'll try. You know, why not? I mean, obviously you enter races to win. Yeah. So that, that. You know, I have to ask you about a quote I saw back in the United States. Uh, uh, let's see, who, who was it? Wendy Boer uh, started off her article saying that uh, wives and girlfriends everywhere are jealous of you. Are you aware <laughs> of that? <laughs> I kind of giggled on the quote. I'm, you know, I'm not sure. <laughs> since, since I've covered you for five years and didn't know that, I found that that was an interesting <laughs> uh, revelation. You know, it's like... We all have different perspectives, so that's how <laughs> so Maybe Wendy's jealous anyway. Well, anyway, good luck tomorrow, Thank and you. Uh, hope for the best. Okay.